Hi, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Depression is a voracious, unrelenting beast that not only warps your sense of time, it also warps your perception of the world around you. It's not affecting you alone. Your loved ones are also distressed because all they see is you seemingly trying to disappear for no reason. But how are you supposed to keep your loved ones around when it's not a one-time thing, but a prolonged issue or episode? Then again, it can be hard to tell if you're being selfish and you don't want to admit it, or if you really are depressed. So let us help you with recognizing signs that, hey, it's depression. You're not just being self-centered. Number one, you constantly withdraw. The withdrawal is both physical and emotional. Those who haven't experienced depression have a hard time getting it. And you may feel like they're not even trying to understand. Even though you might've had the tendency to withdraw before, this withdrawal is different. The absorption into your own thoughts is so intense it feels impossible to be around anyone. Number two, you feel down despite everything else. This isn't a one-time kick the can moment. This is where you can't feel happy because it feels like an impossibility. Your mind takes the most negative perceptions and grinds them into your face. Seeing your loved ones happy only makes you feel like there's something wrong with you. And you don't matter, since life goes on for them despite your absence. That's what you see for yourself. What they see is that they're putting in all this effort, but you're not responding in a way they expect you to. And they may feel like you're just being ungrateful and selfish. Some may even feel anger or guilt because they think you're doing something wrong. But know and remember that this isn't the case. You might even be able to help the situation by verbally acknowledging their help. This could help them understand that their efforts aren't unnoticed and it's not their fault that you're not responding. Number three, you overly joke or talk about suicide. Thoughts of ending it might have been a passing thought before, but now the thoughts are more intense tangible and frequent. Some people may think that suicide is selfish, but thinking about committing suicide is not abnormal during depression. There isn't a for sure sign of going through with it. Becoming preoccupied with these thoughts called suicidal ideation is a red flag though. Please remember that you matter and that help is out there and readily available. We've included a list of suicide hotlines at the end of this video. Sometimes we have to pick an uncomfortable Picking up the phone and calling one of those numbers might be kind of awkward, but not wanting to live is so much worse. Number four, you don't remember the before. Those around you might have the idea that you're simply taking for granted the good things that have happened to you so far. What they probably don't know is that depression, that monster, dims and blurs your memory of all the good things making you think and feel that the good things weren't that good and wouldn't be enough to save you now. This symptom is one of the signs that depression has significantly taken over your life. Number five, you don't care, nothing matters. For something or someone to be important or to have meaning, you have to feel. Unfortunately, since nothing elicits feeling, nothing is important. This is anhedonia. The reality is you feel and think Everything is meaningless, and nothing triggers the happy feeling. Nothing, not your favorite food, not the refreshed feeling after a shower, not even your favorite hobby, nothing. And unfortunately, others can only see what's on the outside. And this can be interpreted as lazy, selfish, or self-entitled, as in, oh, nothing is good enough for them. But please remember, that's not true at all. And you deserve to be heard. Number six. You consider your feelings more than others. It's normal to initially think of yourself first, even for a millisecond before others. That's just survival. But during a depressive episode though, it's like you're in a constant state of being wounded and hurt. Even if it's your own mental health doing it to you, things are pretty raw in there. So if you feel triggered by stressful situations, such as having a dispute with your loved ones, it can be more hurtful than normal. Your sensitivity meter really tunes in and you become acutely protective with your feelings. This is because your limit to receiving pain has been reached and you're just trying to prevent a breach. As a result, you unconsciously push others away. 
even when you don't mean to. Did you relate to these signs? Or has this made you think of someone close to you and given you a different perspective on their behavior? Please comment below. If you found yourself relating with the signs mentioned above, or if you think anyone in your life is going through something similar, know that this isn't about selfishness. It's from the depression. The fact that depression happens is out of your control, but what you can control is recognizing when it's happening and loving yourself enough to take steps in the right direction. Your feelings are just as valid as anyone else, and you are loved nonetheless. We hope you found something helpful in this video and we'll see you next time.